removed my cheese. An amazing way to deal with change in your work and in your life by Dr. Spencer Johnson. Cheese, a metaphor for what we want to have in life, whether it is a job, a relationship, money, a big house, freedom, health, recognition, spiritual peace, or even an activity like jogging or golf. Each of us has our own idea of what cheese is, and we pursue it because we believe it makes us happy. If we get it, we often become attached to it, and if we lose it, or it is taken away, it can be traumatic. Once long ago, there lived four little characters who ran through a maze looking for cheese to nourish them and make them happy. Two were mice named Sniff and Scurry, and two were little people named Him and Haw. Every morning, the mice and the little people dressed in their running gear and headed over to Cheese Station C, where they found their own kind of cheese. It was a large store of cheese that Him and Haw eventually moved their homes to be closer to it and built a social life around it. To make themselves feel more at home, Him and Haw decorated the walls with sayings. One read, Having cheese makes you happy. One morning, Sniff and Scurry arrived at Cheese Station C and discovered there was no cheese. They weren't surprised since they had noticed the supply of cheese had been getting smaller every day. They were prepared for the inevitable and knew instinctively what to do. They were quickly off in search of new cheese. Later that same day, him and Haw arrived. What? No cheese? Who moved my cheese? It's not fair! Him yelled. They went home that night hungry and discouraged. But before they left, Haw wrote on the wall. The more important your cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. The next day, him and Haw left their homes and returned to Cheese Station C. But the situation hadn't changed. Haw asked, Where are Sniff and Scurry? Do you think they know something we don't? Him scoffed. What? What would they know? They're just simple mice. They just respond to what happens. We're little people. We're smarter. Haw suggested, Maybe we should stop analysing the situation so much and just get going and find some new cheese. Haw decided to leave Cheese Station C while Hem was more comfortable staying in the Cheeseless Station C. Haw announced, It's maze time! and wrote, If you do not change, you can become extinct. Meanwhile, Sniff and Scurry went farther into the maze until they found Cheese Station N. They found what they had been looking for. A great supply of new cheese. It was the biggest store of cheese the mice had ever seen. Who, on the other hand, became more anxious and wondered if he really wanted to go out into the maze. He wrote a saying on the wall ahead of him and stared at it for some time. What would you do if you weren't afraid? Hall now realized that the changes probably would not have taken him by surprise if he had been watching what was happening all along and if he had anticipated change. He stopped for a rest and wrote on the wall of the maze. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Who wondered if him had moved on or if he was still paralyzed by his own fears. Then Hall remembered the times when he had felt his best in the maze. It was when he was moving along. He wrote, movement in a new direction helps you find new cheese. As Ho started running down the dark corridor, he began to smile. He didn't realize it yet, but he was discovering what nourished his soul. He was letting go and trusting what lay ahead for him, even though he did not exactly know what it was. To his surprise, Ho started to enjoy himself more and more. He stopped to write again on the wall. When you move beyond your fear, you feel free. To make things even better, Ho started to paint a picture in his mind again. He saw himself in great realistic detail, sitting in the middle of a pile of all his favourite cheeses, from cheddar to brie. He saw himself eating the many cheeses he liked and he enjoyed what he saw. The more clearly he saw the image of himself enjoying new cheese, the more real and believable it became. He wrote, Imagining myself enjoying new cheese, even before I find it, leads me to it. Who wondered why he had always thought that a change would lead to something worse? Now he realized that change could lead to something better. Then he raced through the maze with greater strength and agility until he found bits of new cheese. He entered the cheese station, but it was empty. Someone had already been there. He stopped and wrote on the wall. 
The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you find new cheese. Hall made his way back to Cheese Station C to offer him bits of new cheese, but was turned down. Hem wanted his own cheese back. Hall just shook his head in disappointment, but this does not stop him from finding new cheese. He smiled as he realized. It is safer to search in the maze than remain in the cheeseless station. Hall realized again that what you are afraid of is never as bad as what you imagine. The fear you let build up in your mind is worse than the situation that actually exists. He realizes it was natural for change to continually occur. When you expect it or not, change could surprise you only if you didn't expect it and weren't looking for it. When he realized he had changed his beliefs, he paused to write on the wall. Old beliefs do not lead you to new cheese. Hall now realized that his new beliefs were encouraging him to behave in a new way. He was behaving differently from the way he had when he had kept returning to the same cheeseless station. It all depends on what you choose to believe. He wrote on the wall. When you see that you can find and enjoy new cheese, you change course. Hall just hoped he was heading in the right direction. He thought about the possibility that Hem would read the handwriting on the wall and find his way. He wrote on the wall what he had been thinking about for some time. Noticing small changes early helps you to adapt to bigger changes that are to come. He continued on through the maze with greater strength and speed. He proceeded along a corridor that was new to him, rounded a corner and found new cheese at a cheese station inn, where he saw the greatest supply of cheese he had ever seen. Sniff and Scurry welcomed him. Hooray for change! Hall wrote down a summary of what he had learned on the largest wall of Cheese Station Inn and smiled as he looked at what he had learned. The handwriting on the wall. Change happens. Anticipate change. Monitor change. Adapt to change quickly. Change. Enjoy change. Be ready to change quickly and enjoy it again. Move with the cheese and enjoy it.